Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I hope you are looking at this truck going, wow, that thing is great, man. Tell me a little bit about it. I'm saying, you know what? I should probably tell you a little bit about it since I'm here. Now, do I know everything about every car ever built? No, but I do know this. Uh, we build cars all the time and uh, I know lots of other people that are in this business as well. And here's what I can share with you. The only way to buy a uh, a classic car is to buy one really that's been done already. You say, well, Tom, what do you mean by that? I, I could easily buy a truck uh, and build it and do it myself. Let me just say this about that. Eh, no way. We do it all the time. And I'll tell you that if you had an extra $100,000, right, and three years to wait, you could build this truck. Make some phone calls. Find yourself a truck worth restoring. That's 20, 25 grand right there just to start with. And then find somebody who will take it apart. Paint and body. $30,000. Custom interiors, $10,000. Drive trains, $25,000. Brake upgrades, suspensions, wiring, lights, radios, on and on and on and on. Next thing you know, you're at 100 grand three years later, okay? This is why, this is the only way to buy these things. Buy them done, man, and enjoy them this weekend, right? Crazy. That's why people love these things. This is the real way to do it. We're going to spend a little bit of time walking around, seeing all the good stuff that's on this truck, uh, and the detail and effort that's gone into it. Because here's what I get from many people all the time. Tone, that is a great looking truck. Wow, I really love it. But we don't really know why it's a great looking truck. Let's figure that out together. All right, so some of the things that we're looking at this truck and you're going, you know what? I see stuff, but I don't see stuff and I don't really know what, what he's talking about. So I say, you know what? Let me take a second and show you. For instance, these all molded into the body, right? This is a hand done pinstripe along the bodies there. This marker light here molded into the body. I'm sorry, you're looking for the door handles? They're gone, you know why? Because we have door poppers here and they have a code there that you can lock them. Disc brakes, suspension, all of this great stuff. We even have wipers that work, right? Oh my God. If you don't want the wipers, some people take these off and it cleans up the windshield a lot, right? Because they're never driving in the rain. So you can take these off, you put a nice little chrome cap on there and that looks pretty cool too. Um, as we move through the paint, and I like to share this with you when we're talking about paint. I'm gonna give you a quick paint lesson if I could, please. Is that when you're looking at paint, don't look at the paint. What do you mean, Tom? What, what do you mean don't look at the paint? You said look at the paint, don't look at the paint. No, what I mean by that is this. I say, look at what's in the paint. Here's what I mean by that. When we look at this paint here, I want you to look at the ceiling, the LED lighting, the ribs in the roofs of this thing. I want you to look at the font of this piece of paper. How crisp is it in there? When you can see detail, like crisp detail, that's better paint. You can always see something in the paint, but orange peely paint, you guys have heard of orange peel, orange peely paint, right? Does not reflect back uh, really well, therefore it's not super shiny. In this case here, that's not the case. We have super shiny paint and I wanna show you what I mean by that. So come on up here, all right? Whew, I get so excited about this. This tangerine orange paint, this tangerine orange paint, is like a mirror. Look up there, the ceiling, look at the ribs in the ceiling. You can see everything, all the words, all that stuff is right in there, easy to see. And the color is fabulous. If you think the color looks great here, you should see it outside. It's just like, it's not so bright orange, like, a, like a, 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 a cone, like a safety cone. It's an orange that's just beautiful and it highlights all of the lumps and bumps and whatever that you get in a 50s vintage pickup that you can't get in a 2024 pickup, right? You're not getting this kind of look. That's why people love this stuff. All right, so we're just finishing the dress up on here. Uh, we took the hood rod off, so I'm gonna hold the hood up if that's okay to be on there when you get the vehicle. Um, but I wanna show you this. So we have a crate engine with center bolt valve covers. We have fuel injection, okay? We have air conditioning. We have power disc brakes. We have power steering. You know how many of these cool old vehicles don't have power steering? You forget to ask about that stuff, man. It's a big deal to wheel that this, uh, these old vehicles without uh, any power steering. This has all that. Billet all of this dress up here, which is very nice. Chrome pieces, big radiators, all this stuff so you can enjoy like electric fans. So you can enjoy cruising in it and going for a ride. Maybe you want to go to dinner or something like that. This is exactly, you want to drive to the beach. This is exactly what we're talking about. So anyway, it just came in. We're finishing it up. I just wanted to get the video done quickly before... Uh, uh, I wanted to get it out there quickly uh, before uh, it got sold and we didn't get to do that. So, All right, so back to some of the statements that I make before when I say to people or they say to me, 
tone. That's a great looking vehicle, but a lot of times they don't know why it's a great looking vehicle. Let me, let me just point out a couple of small things and the week it would take to get this done, right? Because this is not like a two hour job. This is a custom molded bumper done here in full steel, right? Cut out for the exhaust, the tags all welded up. You have uh, these, uh, your taillights and turn signals molded into the fenders. This folds down. It's got these uh, cool clips that hold it in place. We're getting ready to put uh, the bed liner in here as well because it's all been Rhino line and color match Rhino liner in here, which was expensive by the way. But this part is polished, so it looks really cool that's in there. Most importantly, it's got a third brake light up here, right? It was given some thought to like making this a modern vehicle, but still cool looking. Lastly, if you're driving behind this vehicle and you're sitting in a pickup truck and you're looking through here, that is one great dash. It's a lot of smile. Look at the size of the window that's in there. Uh, it really is just, I smile just thinking about it because uh, I know how, how hard it is to, to kind of do these things. This is so nice with the bed these special latches that are built in. That alone probably took a week uh, to mold in the latches, make this tailgate. This right here is all hand painted on and cleared over top of. Uh, it's just what a wonderful, wonderful smile maker. All right, so when you walk up to this, you can't help but smile. Like I'm thinking about you getting this and driving it to work on a Friday. Why Friday? Well, Friday you could say, you know what boss? Hey, it's three o'clock, it's four o'clock. I'm gonna roll on out. I'll call you, don't call me. And you know what? You get into this cool thing, you come back and you either put in your code or you hit the unlock button there. And you get in and you go for a drive. Shut off that feed, man. You know what? It's enough. You don't need any more. You got this cool audio system here, right? Uh, touch screen, air conditioning, full array of gauges, 8,000 RPM tack. 140 mile an hour speedometer, right? Full array of gauges there. You have electronic poppers, you have electric windows. This is a power seat. It goes on and on. Look at how cool the dash is. It's all painted, right? This right here, uh, we just installed all this. It's a tilt wheel, right? And so we're painting this part here to color match the dash. I think that'll look really good. Uh, and then like little stuff. You, don't minimize this stuff. And I'll tell you why. You say, I'll tell them those are cup holders. Who cares? I'll tell you who cares. The guy that spent uh, hours building all of this out of this dash and then welding the dash in and then installing all this stuff behind it while his hands were stuffed under there for days and days and days. Like the effort that's gone into here is amazing. I like to do that. I always like to do that. I don't know why I like to do that. Anyway. Uh, it's just super, super cool, and it's a beautiful interior. It's got seat belts. It's got seating for three, um, and you could just... Whew, sorry, man. So sometimes you just got to take it down a notch, and this is exactly how you take it down. Like, you get in something like this, turn the key, and you go for a drive. All right, so we closed up this video. We talked about a lot of stuff today, but let's run over some of the things that really were important. Air conditioning, right? Uh, the completely custom dash tilt wheel, the billet, the uh, uh, disc brakes, um, the, the fuel injection, like all of the things that make a modern vehicle fabulous have been installed in this amazing, amazing custom uh, vehicle. Spend a minute, look at the pictures, look at the detail. If you have some more questions, email us because there is a lot, a lot of stuff on here that is significant and, and different than you're going to see in any other truck that's out there. When you drive this truck, you go to dinner in this truck uh, or you take the kids somewhere and you pull up in front of the restaurant there, valet or whatever, and they put this in front and they push the Porsche around the side. It just happens, man. Don't be a hater. It just happens because this right here is a smile maker. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this incredible Ford F1 pickup. And uh, if you want to, uh, I suggest maybe you subscribe to our videos. We've got new stuff coming out all the time. If you would, hit the like button down below there. I really appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to share it with your friends. They might like to see what we're doing too. And I'll see you on the test drive.